Hi, so I'm with this wonderful person who is willing to give an interview to us, with us. And yeah, maybe you just want to say who you are and where you're from. I'm Grant Campbell. Um, my website is rawaussieathlete.com. I'm from Australia and I'm an ultra marathon runner, raw vegan. been raw vegan for a long time, for um, 14 years. Wow. I've been running ultra marathons for 15 years. And yeah, I just enjoy going around and uh, meeting beautiful people all around the world and yeah. <laughs> just connecting with people. Amazing. And maybe how did you become raw vegan? I became raw vegan um, after a friend lent me some information by Dr. Douglas Graham. Mm -hmm. uh, it was before the 80-10-10 diet book got released. But it was some of his audio programs. And I listened to that and it just made all the sense in the world. And then I just, um, after a short um, decision about whether I was worth um, what, you know, I was giving up all the other foods, right, to, to go raw vegan. And I thought it was just for my own health at the time. Uh, and so I was like, didn't think I was worth it at the time. So exactly. Was, but then I very quickly realized, yes, of course I'm worth it. And Aww. I made the, I made the you know, change. And um, no, yeah, it just was, it's been a beautiful journey ever since. Uh, just it's enhanced my life in so many ways and I've grown so much and, and it's just opened up more and more like it's like kind of like the more you learn the more you can learn the more you grow the more you can grow the more you love the more you can love the more open you are the more open you can be it's, it's just been a journey like that where it just keeps expanding with seemingly with no limits yeah so it was not just raw food but it opened the door to many other things yeah like it's an internal journey as well yeah um you know not only my sports performance got better with with the ultra marathon running but it's just been a journey of, of self-discovery and, and also of discovering others, like the world outside like just is so much richer to me now as well. It's, it's just the beautiful things everywhere I look. It's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. And maybe did you experience some struggle with the raw vegan diet or? Yeah, not, not really with the raw vegan diet. It was the, it was just the struggle within me. Okay. Um, so, uh, you know, I was working at IBM, uh, big corporate, uh, in the corporate world. So being stuck in that, feeling stuck in that world and not feeling a sense of fulfillment from, from my, all the work I was doing. Yeah. So most of my life was just becoming about just making money. So I, it wasn't, wasn't really much of a life. Uh, so, so I had some emotional kind of challenges with that, that, that caused me to binge on food. Mm -hmm. So when I, I went raw vegan and I, I never gave up on raw vegan or turned my back on raw, had any doubts that it worked because it always did. Yeah. It always made yeah. me feel amazing. Yeah. But it didn't stop me from using other foods to hurt myself, like fried vegan street food and just uh, oily fast food that just mm -hmm. made me feel terrible, but it suppressed me so I couldn't think or feel about my problems. Mm -hmm. um, and I also had relationship issues and, and that, that left me feeling unfulfilled as well. So I, um, I was also challenged by that. So that, that were the reasons that, that the underlying reasons why I found it challenge, challenging to stay 100% raw at first. Just occasionally, um, yeah, I would just fall off the wagon and, mm -hmm. and hurt myself with food. Not consciously, really. Like it's just just something that just happened because I wasn't happy. Yeah. And then, yeah. But whenever I was happy, which was most of the time, it was effortless to stay raw. Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. it feels so good. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any tips for maybe new raw vegans or for people who want to try it, or how to stick to this diet? Because you're doing it for such yeah. a long time. Yeah, I think, um, I mean, at first it helps to, education is important, so like learn a bit about food, you've got to learn how much food to eat, otherwise you're not going to be satisfied and you're going to be looking for other foods and you're going to go back to your old old ways. Mm -hmm. um, you've got to eat good quality food, because if you're eating boring, bland food, food that's tasteless, food that's not fully ripened or food that's out of season, mm -hmm. then it's not going to be satisfying and, you, and again, you're going to go back to old foods you're going to go back to either cooked foods or animal foods or something like that so um yeah it's important to eat enough and, and know how to you know just make interesting things with food so but but also learning that it's more there's a lot more going on than just food when you change yeah. your diet be ready for because <laughs> when you give up uh, when you change to a raw vegan diet and you, and you keep like you, you're, not, you're not having like really high fat or anything you're just keeping your fat down to a reasonable level mm -hmm. you're giving away um all the all the options you used to have to suppress yourself yeah to just yeah, like yeah, you know yeah. when you you know people late at night and they're sitting in tv in front of the tv and they're just eating potato chips or 
lots of nuts or mm -hmm. or chocolate or they're just until they just sort of sink into a exactly. shadow of their existence and, and they're not really thinking or feeling and they can relax in that mm -hmm. and find some sort of sense of peace but you're not really you're just kind of switched off and and then you don't feel good the next day you know? no so yeah you're giving away all those options when you go raw so you're forced to feel and face your emotions and your, your state of being um whether you're happy or sad or, or whatever you really yeah. you have to kind of feel it and experience yeah. it you, you can't use food um, to, numb yourself. to numb yourself and you and you can't use other behaviors to numb to numb yourself like like being angry or aggressive or things because it just falls out of your nature yeah. when you start eating <laughs> yeah, fruits yeah. and vegetables yeah, it's, it's so true you start wanting to connect with everything and connect with um, nature you start um, really just loving life and, and pe other people yeah. and yourself yeah. and yeah. animals and it just it gets richer and richer and you, it's it's amazing like uh, they call it biophilia I guess like a love of life um, and it's a beautiful journey so just be ready for things like that it's not, <laughs> it's not just about the food it's there's a lot's going to happen and and even you, you start valuing you just start noticing a lot more and, and, how, and you value more compassionate living. So your negative thoughts that you might have had in your head on a previous diet and lifestyle mm -hmm. and, and, and set of ways, once you change to a more positive existence, it's, negative thoughts just go away. They don't have any purpose anymore. They feel so foreign. So I never put myself down. I never, you know, and I, never, I don't like walk around judging other people going, oh, Yes, they're a bit dirty, or they're smelly, or they're. <laughs> I I think. Oh, I wonder what they're thinking, or what's their life like. That that. I wonder if they. Well, if one of that homeless person chooses to be homeless because yeah. they prefer that, or I I just I'm more interested in the person rather than just the superficial thing that I see, which is the way it would have been in the past. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't know. It's just been a beautiful journey for me, and I, I strongly recommend. <laughs> The raw vegan lifestyle and you do ultra marathon running and how is like because you're planning a project and maybe you just want to talk a little bit about it and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah so i'm going to run with my friend harriet care from barcelona we're gonna she's an, a raw vegan ultra marathon runner as well mm -hmm. we're going to run next year in 2020 the entire length of the pyrenees trail which goes through three countries um france andorra and spain Crazy. Um, oh, and it's, it's so crazy. extreme mountains. I think it's 50,000 meters of altitude change of up and down. Whoa. And it's 100 kilometers. No, it's 900 kilometers. Ah, ah, ah. Forgot, yeah. forgot. So 550 miles thereabouts. And we're, we're hoping to do it in maybe like 14 days. So two weeks where we're just going to be sleeping. We'll have to figure it out as we go, but you know, we may be just be sleeping two to four hours a day for for 14 days crazy. Absolutely and just, crazy. Um, just in, and enjoying the beauty of the mountains and yeah and the challenges of just climbing up into these beautiful places and being vulnerable and and just trying to survive the conditions and keeping safe you know, but um challenging ourselves to rise exactly and, and yeah. you also have a retreat maybe you just want to talk about your retreat and where we can find you as well mm -hmm. So I have a retreat called the Fruitarian Adventure Retreat in Thailand. It's held during peak durian season each year. We go to we swim every day in beautiful places. We go to beaches, waterfalls, um, mm -hmm. beaches with monkeys, waterfalls, um, swimming at freshwater dams where we can jump off cliffs. If, you, if people are up to that sort of adventure, we um, go up into the mountains where there's wild elephants. We keep away from the elephants, but you're kind of following up their trails <laughs> so you can see the fresh elephant poop and you can see mm -hmm. where their foot footprints are and put your foot in and realize how small we are compared to them. And, um, and we like climb 17 waterfalls up into a national park, um, go up to the most sacred place in this um, part of Thailand. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, and it's a fruit based culture there. There's, there's more fruit in Chantaburi, Thailand than anywhere in the world. Uh, that I've I seen go. <laughs> and the fruits incredible and we get the best of best of the best quality we go to farms we go to organic fruit orchards and climb fruit trees and pick eat mangosteens from the trees and mm. the mango season is incredible there's at least three varieties of really incredible mangoes that we'll get during the retreat um, yeah I'm just having an amazing experience but it's at the end of the day it's all about people and yeah. connecting with other people yeah. and uh, having a full immersion experience like it's a two-week retreat 
there's two of them back to back so a lot of people come for both for the whole month just for that complete immersion experience they get away from work they get away from family they get away from their life and they just focus on improving their lifestyle and seeing what it can be like we have a professional chef uh, preparing delicious um, dinners for us so that's all covered we'll have amazing sauces we'll use all the local you know thai ingredients like lemongrass and things mm. like that that you don't usually see very often in raw vegan recipes um so yeah and not authentic like thai coconut flavors and things like that so yeah it's a beautiful experience um and i, I love it I, I never get sick of it i run i've been running the, the retreat for nine years now uh. and uh, i you know doing two of them each year for the last five years and it's it's as it, it's as enriching an experience each year for me as it is for everybody else um i love it so it's amazing and maybe where can we find you how do you yeah, have so a website my, yeah raw aussie athlete.com so r-a-w a-u-s-s-i-e aussie mm -hmm. athlete a-t-h-l-e-t-e dot -E, com raw aussie athlete.com and that's also my youtube channel raw aussie athlete you have a youtube channel i do yeah there's about 200 videos on there um everything from emotional health tips to running tips to ultra marathon running tips to just fun things from fruit festivals or mm -hmm. that sort of thing so, that's so cool yeah. i will link everything below awesome so thank you so much my pleasure oh. <laughs> so thank you as well for watching and have a nice day goodbye Bye.